Two deadly chases in two years, and both times the Lake County Sheriff's Office says that their deputies broke policy when they raced behind suspects, putting innocent people in jeopardy. Today, the Lake County Sheriff's Office told us it disciplined a deputy for a deadly chase with a suspect earlier this year. At 4 o'clock, Channel 9's Mert Price explained the internal investigation found Corporal Joshua Crete should have ended that pursuit. Mert's now live, and Mert, last year when a different deputy was involved in a deadly crash, the agency put in new rules to make sure that that never happened again. Back then, the chase policy was very broad, but after that crash and those three people were killed, the sheriff's office decided to make some changes. Today, the Lake County Sheriff's Office released its internal affairs report about the April high-speed pursuit that ended with an innocent driver, 19-year-old Carlos Santiago, hit and killed by a fleeing suspect. Investigators say it began when Wilvinson Darius ran a red light at US 27 and Washington Street in Mineola. Investigators say four deputies were in pursuit, but they say the chase became too dangerous, so Corporal Creech called it off. However, Joshua Creech and the others continued chasing the suspect, which violated the chase policy. Eventually, deputies stopped the pursuit at the Orange County line, but seconds later, Darius crashed into the victim. This isn't the first time a chase has turned deadly here in Lake County. Back in May of 2016, three people were killed. Melinda Martinez, her unborn baby, and grandmother Kimberly King. This all happened when Martinez, who was fleeing from deputies, ran over stop sticks, lost control, and crashed into the innocent grandmother. Deputies say they began chasing Martinez after she refused to stop after she rolled past a stop bar. Deputies say she had just left a known drug house. The pursuit lasted 17 minutes and reached speeds of 63 miles per hour to 123 miles per hour before it ended in tragedy. Following the crash, the sheriff's office changed its policy. Deputies can now only chase people who commit a forcible felony or those who are considered to be an extreme danger to the public. Also, once a chase is called off, deputies have to turn off lights and sirens and go the opposite direction of the suspect. Now, we reached out to the sheriff's office. We asked them, do they think there needs to be any more changes to their chase policy? And they told us no. They feel like the changes they made before make the policy at this time still good enough to stay in place. We're live in Lake County, Mert Price, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.